A gloomy end to the year, but a sunshiny start to a new one. It's been a nightmare week for travel as airlines across the U.S., especially Southwest Airlines, canceled thousands of flights for those looking to come home for the holidays. But what you can you do if your flight was canceled? Well, joining us live this morning is Angie Barnett with the Better Business Bureau of Greater Maryland. Good morning. Good morning. And I hear that you had your own travel nightmare. Yes, going. indeed. Long story like everybody else. Short version is I rented a car and drove a thousand miles to get back to Maryland. So, oh my gosh, yes. and were you on Southwest as yes, well? Yes, indeed. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Yes. So if your flight was canceled, what rights do people have to get yep. their money back? It's really interesting. If your flight is delayed, you really don't have any rights. But if it's canceled, the U.S. Department of Transportation is saying you have the right to get a full refund. One of the things we are aware of is sometimes the airlines will attempt to offer you a voucher. You do have the right to refuse that voucher and say, I want a refund based on uh, you know, my, the original payment form. So you can demand that. What we're also encouraging everybody is if you made this trip and you had to reschedule or book another airline and you encumbered expenses, save every single receipt because if you visit the airlines they do have a way for you to apply for a refund there is no guarantee i'm sorry a refund of all your additional expenses there is no guarantee i would say make an assumption case by case yeah but you want to make sure you do that well i have a trick question for you because oh. i was at the airport talking to people this week as you know who had these travel nightmares and some of them also used points and rewards in addition to payments is mm -hmm. that something that you're allowed to get back you can you'll get your points back they you won't get cash back but they will reinstate your points right now southwest is going to do a lot to try to appease customers and because they do have a pretty good reputation for customer service so they you know undoubtedly they've admitted that some of the errors were theirs it wasn't necessarily weather and beginning on december 24th any of the challenges that you experience you can begin to um, look for refunds or apply for any kind of reimbursement for your expenses. And we know they set up a website and they also said that mm -hmm. if you incurred rentals and hotels and food expenses, those are things that you can also get back. Exactly. And that's the re those are the receipts. I saved every receipt, you know, every stop I made for, you know, food or gas or my car rental. I saved those. I will be scanning and putting those in. You want to make sure you use Southwest Airline, uh, southwest.com and be careful don't just respond to any text message or email you get because it can be scammers this is when scammers see high opportunity to send you fake websites so you really want to make sure you're using southwest.com look at how it's spelled in the browser last piece of reminder using a credit card look at your credit cards because some credit cards are they do have some travel protections and we always encourage people to look at your credit card as well and see what benefits they offer as well. That's great advice. Yeah. Thank you so much, especially for people who have been going with this ongoing nightmare. Some people still looking to get their luggage back right now. Oh, well. absolutely. Yeah. And Happy New Year happy to you. Happy New Year.